Hey, my name is Evan Collier. I'm the owner and founder of Arch Production and Design, and this is the Swatch Project. One of the more enjoyable things of this project is working with the antique viewers. It's really always amazing to see the craftsmanship that was put into something made over 100 years ago, and then to get to put in my technology and also work with the device uh, now in present day. So every project has its challenges. Some of the challenges with this project was dealing with technology. Some of the new technologies like 360 video, while they are crisp and cool, all the bugs aren't worked out. Things like drift in your center point, ways to wirelessly connect a tablet inside of a metal housing, uh, finding ways to get the battery life to last longer, were all pretty difficult. It took a lot of fussing about. Overall, it's important for a client to remember with a project like this that working with technology has variables. It's always a new and changing process, so if you're going to dig into a project like this, have a little patience, understand there's going to be differences in the way of the things you want and the way it actually works, but overall, we can still make it really cool. The Swatch Times Square store? You gotta go. <laughs> you can't be laughing behind the camera. Hold on, let me get that on video. <laughs> My name's Tim, and I'm a designer here at Arch. Uh, we're talking about the swatch job, and uh, my element of the job was dealing with the, uh, the large tree that got battleship clad. Uh, one of the difficulties was kind of working on such a large scale. Uh, we were also working on models for about three weeks until the I-beam was uh, covered in plywood. So kind of going back and forth between drawings uh, that are computer generated and what's actually there in the field was a little bit of an issue going back and forth. There's a lot of minute details when you're uh, working on an element that's so large uh, in, in length, so it fluctuated a lot. The funnest part for the project for me was seeing the client's renders and then transferring that into pencil sketches and then watching the team turn those into 3D models and, and then just really taking that into reality.